The first time I heard the music of Bach, I would have been very young, not much older than five or six. Um, Mum and Dad played a lot of Bach uh, around the house, and uh, he was definitely one of the, the composers that was most respected at home. In the case of the, the cello suites and, and this particular project, I never wanted to, to do them on a, on a normal guitar. Shortly after my um, last solo recording, which I think was about 15 years ago, um, I was on tour with my brother in regional New South Wales and we visited a, a guitar maker up there called Graham Caldersmith and um, he had a few guitars lying around uh, in his workshop and I'd, one of them caught my eye and it was a, a, a larger instrument and I asked him what it was and he said, oh, it's a, it's a baritone. Um, have a go and I picked it up and I, I absolutely loved the sound of it instantly and one of the first things that I thought of in his workshop was cello suites in the original key. It really um, jumped out at me. Over the years I've been playing the instrument and, and coming back to looking at the cello suites in particular, uh, but it's taken a very long time. Finally I had this instrument made um, uh, by the guy who also makes my regular classical guitars, Jim Redgate. It was such a, an incredibly balanced um, and, and easy to control instrument. I knew that the, the, the time was getting closer to actually fulfilling that uh, initial dream. <laughs> the thing about this guitar is that the, the way it speaks, the way it shifts air is completely different to a regular guitar. The sustain is um, profoundly longer um, and so in past versions of the cello suites when when, when they've been done on, the, on a regular guitar um, the, the keys are always changed to, to suit the uh, to suit that guitar and also because of the sustain is so different a lot of the a lot of notes need to be to, to be added to, to sustain the, the, the interest and the, and the musical ideas whereas on this guitar you just don't need to do it. love about um, these pieces in general but also um, playing them like this is you know the, the incredible um, universe of, of music that's that exists in a, in a single line the amount of language um, that's used is just extraordinary I'm lucky on the guitar and that the, the, the dance like movements um, can have a very very rhythmically um, accurate and very folksy um, feel to them, um, uh, something a lot harder to do with a, with a bow and at the same time there's a, you know, in the slower uh, lyrical movements that, that that's where I can explore this amazing um, instrument and, 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 and work with, with, with sustain. Also, of course, the um, I mean the sarabands are just so unbelievably stunning. Um, I 
when listening back to the, the, the very famous Saraband from the first suite, um, it, it just sounded like um, uh, you were lying about to fall asleep in a very warm bath. I think that um, this music kind of sums up music to me in a way. Um, I know that I, I, I don't feel um, I don't feel the same way playing anything else. Movement after movement, it, it, everything is so different and, it, and so magical and mystical. Um, it's yeah, I've, I've never had that experience, and so it's a, a, a deeply um, profound moment and I'm just looking forward to um, evolving with with this music and seeing how the the music changes and evolves over over the years and it's it's the start of a, an adventure <laughs> 